In the upcoming lessons, we're building out a real-time messaging system. And we needed a way to be able to push messages. And the solution for that, and an excellent solution for that, is Pusher.com. So what this does is, this is a product, an online service, that allows you to create this real-time features within your applications so that you can communicate between your server and the cloud, pull information, and also get it pushed. So get notified whenever any type of new information comes in. So this service is ideal for what we're trying to build out. And it's actually a free service. You can go ahead and sign up for that to try that out. You can sign up through your Google or your GitHub account. And once you sign up, you're going to go into the dashboard. And what the dashboard will do is this gives you the ability to create applications. So there's a number of options here. There's some really cool features within the dashboard as well. And then you've got your applications. You've also got tracking information on the applications. So you can see how many applications, uh, what your peak times are, and when you're making the most requests within your account. And they also have a great tutorial section. So chances are, if you're looking to build an application that integrates with Pusher and that needs this real-time functionality, that they have a really good option already pre-built with source code within the tutorials area. So this is another great resource in real-time applications. And the one that we're building out today is going to be based on an application that's within the tutorials. So this one is going to be the real-time live commenting, so pusher and web sockets. So there's a great example of what it can do. You can also clone the repository and bring it into your project. And it also goes through what you need to do to sign up with pusher and what you need to change. So let's go ahead and open up our pusher account and create an application. So just do create new application. Uh, you can give it an app name, so they give you a default one. There's also different clusters. So I'm going to stick with the US Ohio cluster. And then you need to select your front end tech. So in this case, we're going to be using JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript. And then also, we're going to be using Node.js. And then you create your application. And they give you all of this stuff ready to go here. So they have the back end code to bring that pusher into your application. So you can just copy and paste this into your editor directly within your index page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we also have for our front end. So I'm going to go and create a new folder. I'm going to call this one public. And this is where I'm going to create a static index page that's going to contain the contents of Pusher. And we're going to save this just uh, within public. And we're going to save it as index.html. This is going to be our front end file. And then next, we need to set up our index.js file with a static URL. But first, before we do that, let's make sure we install the pusher package. So that's npm install pusher so that we get all of the dependencies, the package managers installed as well so that we are ready to start using and testing out pusher. So there we go. So next, we are ready to set our index within public. So that's coming up in the next lesson where we're going to use Express to, instead of going into our route here, we are going to use public as our default directory. And then we're going to open up our local host and make sure that pusher is working. So that's coming up in the next, message, next lesson.